shallow foundations and their types. In today's video, we shall focus on the concept of shallow foundation and their types. A shallow foundation is a type of foundation in which the depth of the foundation is equal to or less than the width of the foundation. Probably, these foundations are constructed to a shallow depth up to 1.5 meters. The shallow foundations are classified into strip footing, spread or isolated footing, combined footing, strap or cantilever footing, and mat or raft foundation. Let us start with strip footing. A strip footing is a continuous strip of concrete that serves to spread the weight of a load-bearing wall across an area of soil. Sometimes, when a row of columns to be closely spaced in such a case, it is more economical to provide a strip footing than to provide a number of spread footings in one line. Spread or isolated footing. A spread footing is also called isolated footing or pad footing or individual footing constructed to support an individual column. A spread footing is constructed in a circular, square or rectangular slab of uniform thickness. Based on requirements, spread footing is constructed either stepped or sloped to spread the load over a large area. Combined footing A combined footing is constructed to support two columns. It is generally constructed either in a rectangular or trapezoidal shape. These types of footings are adopted when the two columns are so close to each other where their individual footing would overlap. Or when the property line is so close that spread footing would be subjected to eccentric load. Strap or cantilever footing. In this case, two isolated footings are connected with a structural strap or a lever, making the footings behave as one unit. A strap is a rigid beam that helps to transfer the load acting on it safely. This type of footing is more economical than a combined footing when the allowable soil pressure is relatively high, and the distance between the columns is large. Mat or raft foundation. A mat or raft foundation is a large slab supporting a number of columns and walls under the entire structure or a large part of the structure. A mat is required when the allowable soil pressure is low and are useful in reducing the differential settlements on non homogeneous soils. We will see more on foundations in upcoming topics. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. Kindly do like, share, comment your views and finally don't forget to subscribe our channel.